What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have taken a trip to Alpha Land Gym and what I'm gonna do is go through machine by machine and show you guys the best ways to get your cardio in. Cardio is a game changer when it comes to speeding up your results. I always preach this, but even just 20 minutes a day can drastically change your physique, make you burn way more calories and get to your end goal that much faster. But the caveat is only if you're doing it right. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks, how to utilize every machine to its full potential and to make the most of every minute you spend on these machines. And I'm telling you, if you've been neglecting your cardio, watch this video video and by the end of it you're gonna want to go hop on a machine I guarantee it so if y'all are ready to get this video started then let's get it done come on All right, guys, first cardio machine we're gonna cover is the most popular cardio machine in the world. This is the standard treadmill. Now, the first cuts I ever did where I got lean and did a modeling gig, I'll throw a picture up right here. All I did was what I'm about to show you. Now, when it comes to a treadmill, I see a lot of people doing this and they're wasting their time, if we're just being completely honest. If you're just walking on a treadmill, you could do that outside. I think that that's a waste of time. If we're gonna maximize every second we spend on this, what we wanna do is when we turn it on, a lot of treadmills are going to have an incline function and a speed function. The incline function is going to be our best friend. So if we start this, what I recommend you do, take your incline all the way up, max that incline completely out, and then we can take the seat up to wherever you're comfortable. For me, typically, that's about a 3.5 all the way up to four. And now, instead of just walking, we are walking uphill and burning way more calories than if we were just walking straight on. If you were going to get on here and do cardio, you at least wanna make sure that every second you're spending is worth your time. Why come in here and just walk flat out and burn no more calories than you would burn walking around Kroger? So my biggest tip when it comes to treadmill, Set that incline up, walk uphill, get it at a pace that's brisk. You don't gotta be running. You don't gotta be doing anything like that. You don't even gotta be breathing that heavy, but you just wanna get it going a little bit. See right here, breathe it in and out. We're burning some calories and we're moving right along. And the best piece of advice I can give you, and what I did that it got me through a ton of 40 minute cardio sessions, is I will put Netflix on, on my phone, put it right here, and I have a show that I only watch while I'm doing cardio, right? So every time I come in, I'm looking forward to catching another episode, catch up on the show, and by the time the episode's done, cardio's finished and we got her done. So when it comes to treadmill, set that incline up, go at a speed that's challenging, but you don't gotta overdo it, and you're gonna be way better off. Like I said earlier, 20 minutes a day can really make a game changer with your results. Another one of my favorite cardio machines is the elliptical. Now, after I was burnt out on the incline treadmill after a few cuts, the elliptical was the next cardio machine I used for my entire prep, and I got lean as heck on this thing. The thing with ellipticals is they're not all created equal. If you look down at the feet on this one, I actually prefer this. It's got more of like a bicycle motion in a sense, whereas some of them, it's more of like a slide back and forth. I don't like that. If you can find one like this that really lets you go up and down and around, in my opinion, those are the best ones. But once again, same thing with the treadmill. I'll see people on it, and right now on this, I have zero resistance so this is so easy I could do this in my sleep what we want to do is make this a little more challenging so if you come over here and if we take a look at the screen right here you see how this is on a one this is the resistance what I like to do is take this up and typically on average with these I'll go to about a 12 they usually go to about 20 and what this does is makes the entire pedaling process a lot more difficult so as you can see I'm already breathing a little heavier because I actually got to try to push this thing out if you're gonna be on the elliptical once again you don't want to waste your time you want to maximize every second we have in here. We want to burn the most amount of calories possible. So I recommend take that resistance, raise it up to a point where it's not difficult. This shouldn't feel like you're trying to pedal a Flintstones car, but it should be a little more challenging. See, I'm already <laughs> running out of breath. That is how you know this is working. So the elliptical for me is another one of my favorite cardio machines. And I always recommend find one that you actually enjoy doing. If you don't like doing the incline treadmill, maybe it gives you shin splints or something and you burn a few less calories on this. I would rather you come here, do this consistently than not do cardio at all because you got shin splints from another machine. But I'm literally running out of <laughs> I'm gonna take a breather real quick and I'm gonna show you guys our third machine. Come on. And the next cardio machine we're gonna cover that I do believe if you wanna burn the maximum amount of calories in the shortest amount of time, the one you should be using is the stair stepper. I went a year and a half straight, comment below if you remember this, where I was doing 40 minutes of stair stepper cardio every single day. I had never been leaner in my life and it was never as effortless to basically eat the maximum amount of calories but still stay lean. This is an absolute game changer if you are doing it right. You gotta think, you're literally walking up steps on a stair stepper. Have you ever been anywhere with a big flight of steps? You get up one or two or three floors and you're like, Ooh. 
<sighs> Shouldn't have had those buffalo wings last night. Their stair stepper gives you all of that, except you stay in one place and you don't have to climb back down the stairs when you're done. The biggest thing about the stair stepper that I see people doing is they'll get her going and they won't touch any of the settings at all. They'll keep it on the standard level, just like so, and they'll just kind of go at this pace. Now, you're gonna burn calories this way, but the treadmill and the elliptical are both gonna work better if you're doing the little tricks I already showed you. So if you're going to do the stair stepper, I recommend you be honest with yourself. We get nothing out of lying to ourselves about how hard we can actually go. If you're doing this on level one and you realize it's stupid easy, be honest with yourself and raise it up. So what I normally do here with the level is I'll go in here just like this and if it's got a level out of 20, I'll maybe take it to about a 12. We'll put it right there and if you look down at my feet, we are going much faster when we are climbing those steps and burning those dang calories. And like I said, out of any of the cardio you can do, this one is by far the most bang for your buck. If you can suffer through this for 20 minutes a day, it will drastically speed up your results. And the same thing that I do anytime I'm doing cardio, I always preach, find something on Netflix, find a podcast you like, take that phone, sit it right here, put those headphones in and chug away. And you can tell as we're going, I'm already starting to breathe heavy. A good way to know that you're maximizing your cardio is you shouldn't be able to have a comfortable conversation while you're doing it. You should be out of breath and it should be tricky. Like I said, we don't gotta kill ourselves. We don't gotta sprint. We don't gotta max this out and go stupid crazy, but you need to push yourself up to that point, not to complete exertion, but as fast as you can go without killing yourself. We're gonna run the max amount of calories this way and make the most out of our time in here, baby. All right, ladies and gents, we're at the fourth cardio machine right now, and this is an exercise bike. Admittedly, just being completely honest with you guys, I've always felt that exercise bikes never give me the same type of workout as any of the other cardio machines. Now, I'm no scientist, but I believe it's because we're literally kind of just using the bottom part of our body, if that makes sense. You're kind of just pedaling, whereas on a stair step where you gotta hoist your weight up flights of steps, on the incline treadmill, you're carrying your weight up a hill, and on an elliptical, you got resistance, you're actually pushing against while you get to use the upper part of your body. Now, I'm not saying that exercise exercise bikes can be beneficial when it comes to burning calories or giving you a good workout. But what I'm telling you is that I avoid this like the plague. None of the clients that I work with that are on fat loss programs with me do the bicycle. I don't let anybody that I directly influence do this because I really feel like this is the least effective of all cardio machines. Now, if you still want to do it, a lot of these do have resistance. So if I go over here, I can go here and raise the resistance up and it's gonna make it harder to pedal just like this. And now this is about as hard as it gets. And this is a workout. So if I was able to do this, for the entire 20 or 40 minutes, I could burn some calories. But this is just not comfortable for me to do. I do not enjoy doing this. It's just not something that uh, I find myself actually enjoying or getting the maximum amount of calories out. Anytime I track this on my Fitbit, look how many calories I burn, it's never near as much as if I did any of the other cardio machines. So if you have trouble with the other ones and you absolutely couldn't do them, then this is not a bad option. This is better than nothing. But personally for me, I do not recommend these exercise bikes at all. I know they make some different versions that are actual like street racing bikes or road bikes that you can use. I think those give you a little bit of a different workout, but personally, I don't find myself doing this at all. If you like exercise bikes, comment below if you think I'm doing something wrong, but for me, these have just never really hit the mark. And the next form of cardio we are gonna talk about is the rowing machine. And personally for me, once again, kind of like the last machine, this is something I never really do for cardio. I'm a big fan of LISS, LISS or low intensity steady state cardio, where we go for 15, 20 minutes at a lower intensity, but you go for longevity so you can burn more calories over time. Anytime I row, like I just did it for a few minutes, I start to get fatigued in my back, my delts start to burn a little bit because you're also simultaneously getting the back workout in. And I think most people are gonna burn out long before they go long enough to really burn enough calories to make doing this worth it. So if you were going to do something like this, I would add it in on a back day and I would probably do sets of like two minutes. Let's say you did 10 two minute rounds, you rode really hard, you get that full 20 minute duration, get a workout at the same time and burn some calories. But for me, something like this, I can't prop my phone up and watch Netflix while I do it, so it's not something I would really wanna do. I'm a big fan, get on the machine, watch the show, watch the Netflix, helps the time go by faster and by the time the episode or whatever you're watching is done, you're done with your cardio. Makes it really hard to do that on one of these rowing machines. But hey, it's all about finding what you like. If you hate everything else, you despise it. Maybe you hate Netflix. Maybe you don't even own a phone. Maybe you just got a cup with two strings on the end of it and that's how you communicate. If that's it, then by all means, get here. I would rather you do something over nothing. So yeah, that's the rower. Let's see what we got next. Come on, babe. I don't like it. Come on. I don't like it. I feel like I'm about to fall. We're up way too high. One foot in front of the other. There we go, congrats. <laughs> Woo. Ha. 
And don't forget, if you don't have access to cardio machines, gym equipment, whatever, to get your cardio in, you always have the earth, mother nature, the ground. You don't need any equipment to get yourself a good cardio session. I know that this here is technically equipment because it's a hill, but at a local park, maybe down the street, maybe you live next to a mountain, there might be a hill you can climb. Even if you're just outside on flat ground, you can always go for a walk and get that cardio in. I would rather, once again, have you be moving and doing something versus doing nothing at all. It's very rare that I go outside for runs or I'm really doing my cardio in that format. But I found myself, if I'm on vacation or it's a weekend and I don't want to really do cardio inside, me and my girl can go on a hike, we can go for a long walk, and we can burn calories that way. At the end of the day, it's all about finding ways to move. A lot of us work sedentary jobs. A lot of us aren't moving a lot. We get home from work, we plop our butts on the couch, and we start watching Netflix. <laughs> if you can find ways to get those steps up to just move more, you're going to be way better off. That's why I always recommend if you got a little spare cash, you can buy something like a Fitbit, put it on your wrist, and it keeps you accountable. If I don't get at least 15,000 steps a day, I feel like I'm not doing something right. So keep in mind, even on days, you can't get to the gym, can't do anything like that, you still have all of this that you can go walk around and move in and still burn those dang calories. And the final form of cardio I'm gonna go over, the one I've been doing since the beginning of the year that I absolutely love is boxing. A lot of people look at boxing as you're just fighting people, you're getting in the ring. It's not even what it's gotta be about. You can literally practice the fundamentals, put your combos together on a bag, it's great cardio, great workout, and you learn a little bit of self-defense, which can go a long way. Now, I don't have any boxing gloves with me that I was supposed to put in my bag, completely forgot them, so I can't really crank this thing, but it's really fun to kinda just learn. You get on a heavy bag right here, you got gloves, you can practice two times, and you can do combos, one, two, and like one, two, three. Then you can practice all your faces up. One, two, down, bow, bow. Right, great freaking cardio. Boxing is hands down my favorite form of cardio that I'm hooked on right now. And once again, it really comes down to just being active and moving. Cardio gets a bad rap. A lot of people don't look at cardio in a favorable light. They look at it as the worst part of going to the gym. The lifting's fun, the pumps are fun, flexing your muscles is fun, and the cardio gets put off to the wayside. But I'm telling you, if you combine both, you can do both the training and the cardio, you're not only gonna build the muscle, but you're gonna shed the fat and reveal all the hard work that you've been putting in. And seriously, for anybody out there watching, if you're thinking about getting into boxing, I recommend just try it out, because it grabbed me. I'm hooked on it, and if you try it, you might fall in love with it too. And with the workout finished, we gotta fuel ourselves the right way. So I'm in Alpha Eats right now, the restaurant in Alpha Land. At Alpha Land, they actually sell the Anna Bar, which is the best tasting protein bar on the market. It's the only place right now not sold out of the new flavor. If you wanna check out the best tasting protein bar in the world, head to theannabar.com, use my code RGF10. You're gonna save money and you're gonna love it. But here's what I actually ordered for the main course. What I have, they have these bowls here, right? I built my own bowl. First time eating here, I got double steak, we got a couple fried eggs, we got sweet potatoes, crispy fried onions, and underneath this is some rice. Admittedly, this is a ton of food. Probably gonna eat half of it and take the rest with me. I'll give you guys a taste test here in a second. But first, I'm gonna show you what Tamika got. What's your post-workout meal? I have some chicken quesadillas and cilantro rice. Pretty simple compared to what you have <laughs> over there. Let's get a taste test live, see how it is. Okay. Right, chicken quesadilla, give her a rating. Mm. Good? 10 out of 10. Okay. Really good. <laughs> These are the most uncomfortable chairs I've ever sat in in my life. Jesus. There we go. Come on, guys. Cheers. That's good. That's good. Not as good as anything in my cookbook, but it'll do. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more gym content, let me know. I can run you through a bunch of different workouts. Some of the stuff I'm doing to stay in shape. I know that I'm no Johnny Shreve when it comes to this stuff, but I'm doing it a long time, and I got some tips, some tricks, stuff that works for me that I think you guys could benefit from. So if you want to see that, comment down below. Don't forget you can grab my cookbook. I'll the first link in the description box. No matter how much cardio you do, it literally means nothing if you're not eating right. And when you have my cookbook and you're eating foods you actually enjoy, it makes this whole process a hundred times easier. You can always grab that at the first link in the description box and with that we're out of here guys appreciate you so very much if you enjoyed this video the best thing you can do for me is smash a thumbs up button comment down below and hit me with a subscribe and with that we're out of here appreciate you guys as always and until next time ladies and gentlemen i was just having one of you with the next video see you guys boom 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 baby we gone it's time to eat <laughs>